June 14th is established as the Army's birthday, 241 years. Our Army is actually one year older than our nation itself. So while you're getting ready for that Army birthday battalion or division run in order to hashtag earn your cake this year, I thought it might be good to remind you where you came from. The birth of our Army is linked to the amalgamation of New England militia forces around Boston in the spring of 1775. The militia that became the Continental Army, our forerunners, evolved from a collection of colonial companies and regiments into a structured army authorized by the Continental Congress. That transformation from volunteer militia to a more professional army can be traced to several Continental Congress actions. Number one, was the resolution consolidating forces to be employed in the area surrounding Boston, where much of the so-called rebel unrest against the Redcoats was centered. And number two, was the commissioning of George Washington as the General and Commander-in-Chief of the United Colonies. It was on June 14, 1775, that the Continental Congress, seated in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, resolved that six companies of riflemen would be formed and dispatched to the forces surrounding Boston. This is the first case of the Revolutionary War in which the military units were specifically authorized by a central governing body rather than by the individual colonies. As such, it is considered the birth of the United States Army. And a few days later, on June 19, the Continental Congress appointed George Washington the new Army's leader for the defense of American liberty. In this commissioning document, Congress tells General Washington, and we do also enjoin and require you to be careful in executing the great trust reposed in you by causing strict discipline and order to be observed in the Army, and that the soldiers be duly exercised and provided with all convenient necessaries. Trust, discipline, taking care of our soldiers. Our tasks haven't changed much since 1775. It is still our duty, 241 years later, as leaders, to establish unit cohesion through mutual trust, maintain discipline by modeling the Army ethic, and for taking care of our soldiers with regulations, policies, and everyday practices that show them that they, that you, are an integral part of the Army team. Happy birthday, U.S. Army. Thank each and every one of you for your service to this great nation. God bless you. This will defend.